and welcome back to a, another video on my channel. I will keep fighting for justice and I will keep talking about this subject as much as I want because it's been a week since it's happened but I still, <clears throat> I still feel very much hurt by the ending to that Algeria Cameroon game and the injustices that we suffered. Now today's video I know you like you like these uh, these updates on what's happening. Yes, we're holding on to a slim chance, and I think we've all accepted, me included, that it is a slim chance. But we we do have um, an update regarding our appeal to FIFA. Now, some people were saying we hadn't even sent an uh, an appeal to FIFA, even though we'd announced it, and, and the president was den denying it. I can confirm uh, FIFA have received that complaint from us and we now have tonight this is breaking news we have an official statement that's been released by the algerian football association and this is what it says and we've actually got a bit of a time frame now the algerian football association knows that the appeal it submitted before the fifa disciplinary committee that's the committee that Arsene Wenger was referring to. And Arsene Wenger said it wasn't his decision. He said it was down to the committee. Well, that committee now have our appeal. So I'll start again. The Algerian Football Association knows that the appeal it submitted before the FIFA disciplinary committee regarding the confrontation of the national team and its Cameroonian counterpart in the second leg of the qualifying playoff round for the Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup will be discussed, it will be discussed by the FIFA Disciplinary Committee on Thursday the 21st of April. So that complaint is officially in, it's been received by the FIFA D Disciplinary Committee and it will be discussed at their meeting on Thursday the 21st of April which is just over two weeks from now. So we've done our part, we've got our case across FIFA are going to have a look at it at their next disciplinary committee meeting. Now then, have we got a strong enough case? Because we, we've done our bit now and now it's in, it's in God's hands. It's in it's Ramadan. I don't want to make predictions, but that complaint is in. It's been received by FIFA. We now have a time frame as to when they will be discussing it. So they will officially, FIFA will be now reviewing that game in their disciplinary committee meeting. So that's the very latest. Um, so we wait until April 21. They'll discuss it on April 21. Whether or not we get the outcome on April 21 remains to be seen. But that is an official Algerian FA statement. Um, I've put it on the screen and that's the latest regarding the rematch so it, let's continue watching the clubs play out um, let's continue fasting let's continue praying let's see how this one pans out but FIFA will be taking a look at it and of course they can either say yes we've got grounds for a replay or they can say no and we can finally get some closure and hopefully build inshallah with a new team with Belmadi because rumours are that Belmadi will be staying according to his close friends and family he wants to try again with Algeria. He feels he's got unfinished business with how that Cameroon game ended. Or has Belmadi decided to carry on after hearing about the news of a potential rematch? The plot thickens. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.